and everyone's favorite senator, Lamar Alexander. Thanks, Jerome. I got, uh, I ran into Bobby Harrelson down there, and that took about 20 minutes. <laughs> so, so they said, well, you better go on upstairs or, or everybody will leave. Thank you all for coming, coming uh, out. I see Governor Sutton was here, too. Appreciate it. Ambassador, Ambassador Asian Jerome and Art Swan. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't take a this year. <laughs> Saw her coming in and lots of other Lots of other folks. We're proud of Peggy for being the best member of the National Committee. You know, it's Art. Art is responsible for naming that road after me. <laughs> when I left the governorship, I believe that's true. Is that right? Or? It's true. I've been second thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I left the governorship, I, I was uh, I was young, and I thought, well, having things named for you is uh, for dead people. So I asked them not to do that, but that, but, but after they did that, I kind of liked it. And, uh, and I think you've heard the story about after I was elected to the Senate, I was driving up to West Miller's Cove, and our honey was in Nashville, and I didn't have anything for breakfast, so I stopped at, at the, one of the markets on the right and went in and got orange juice, coffee, and stuff like that, and reached in and realized I didn't have any cash there on the Lamar Alexander Parkway, so I pulled out my credit card and I handed it to the little girl behind the counter and she looked at it and she looked at me and she said, may I ask you a question? And I said, yes ma'am. And she said, was you named after this road? <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. So, I thank you for being here. I see lots of good friends. I thank Honey for, for coming. We just voted. Lots of people are voting early. The, uh, the stakes are high in this election. They're always high in the election in, in our country because we're so privileged to live in, in this democracy. And I was so privileged to grow up in Maryville and in Blunt County. I remember I met uh, Howard Baker Sr. when I was 10 years old. My dad took me over to the courthouse to, to meet him. And uh, I was shocked when I saw him because back then, the television hadn't taken over campaigns and he was apparently using his high school yearbook picture on his campaign poster. <laughs> so by uh, then he was older, wore glasses, was larger, and I didn't really recognize him. But I remember thinking when I went home that I just met the most respected man I was ever likely to meet other than my father and the preacher. And so that's the way I was raised to think about public life here in, here in Maryville and Blunt County. And that sticks with me today. I feel that way when I go to the floor of the United States Senate. Um, it's, it's a little messy, it's not working the way it's supposed to, but every day I feel like I have a chance to make our country a little better, and when I go to bed at night, I usually think I've made a little bit of difference. And that's the reason that, I, that I'd like to ask for your, your vote again. People are voting, they're turning out early, that's good. Stakes are high. I mean, there's a good chance that we can gain a majority in the Republican, uh, in the United States Senate this time for the Republican Party. And I'd like to be a part of that majority because I'd like to move our country in a different, more conservative direction. I'd like to make it easier for people to find jobs. Governor Haslam just did that in Clinton a little while ago. A, a Korean company just announced a thousand new jobs in Clinton as part of the auto part expansion in Tennessee. You know, that started 30 years ago. I just saw a bunch of Denso guys downstairs. I can still remember when we tried to get Toyota to settle here, and they wouldn't because Nissan was already here. So the Toyota executive came down and met with me when I was governor and said, I have a consolation prize for you. We'll put a little part supplier with about 100 jobs in Maryville called Nippon Genso. And today they've got about 4,000 jobs. And Alcoa's expansion is related to auto jobs. So, so Tennessee is moving in the right direction in that way. But we need to reverse the trend toward a national school board. Uh, you may have heard me talking about that. I, I, most of the teachers in the Maryville and, and the county schools, the Alcoa schools, don't need Washington to tell them what to do. And, and uh, in Washington, they're trying to make too many decisions to tell us how to operate our schools. We need to replace Obamacare with a health care system that emphasizes freedom and choices and lowers costs that way. We need to fix the debt. Uh, we're debating the highway transportation bill in Washington. I think you know what we did in Tennessee. We had three big road programs. That's why the auto suppliers came to Tennessee, because they, they need to get their parts from Denso to wherever they're going to go, 
or for uh, SL Corporation in Clinton to wherever they're going to go. But they sell to, to General Motors down south of Nashville. They want the best possible road systems. Well, we paid for it as we went. And, and we left. I left the state with zero road debt, and we still have zero road debt. According to the truckers, Texas has the best road system, and Tennessee has the second best system. Texas has a $24 billion road debt, we have zero. And that's the kind of fiscal management I'd like to, I'd like to have in Washington, D.C. So thanks for coming out today. I hope you've all voted at least once. <laughs> I, hope you'll, I hope you'll get to go. I'm so glad Dean Stone is here. Uh, he gave me my first real job when I was at the Daily Times years, years ago. And, Honey and I just want to come by and, and uh, say hello to you. We're going to start our 35-stop uh, bus tour over the next two weeks. Howard Baker taught me that was the right way to wind up a campaign. I want to wind up this one. So thanks very much, and be sure and vote. <laughs>